Low self-esteem is when someone lacks confidence about who they are and what they can do. They often feel incompetent, unloved and inadequate. People who struggle with low self-esteem are consistently afraid about making mistakes or letting other people down. Having self-esteem issues can be determinal to your health and negatively affect your personal and professional relationships. There are many reasons that why you may have low self-esteem. Your genes, how and where you grew up and other life circumstances all play a role. A major factor of low self-esteem, however, comes from your mental state. Your inner voice or the thoughts in your head can be constant telling you that you are not good enough or worth anything even if there is evidence to the contrary. Negative thinking in general is linked to a low self-worth and low self-esteem. While not a mental illness, poor self-esteem can still affect a personal thoughts, emotions and patterns of behavior. Sometimes its signs can be significantly apparent. Other times low self-esteem symptoms are much more subtle. Like some people with low self-esteem can talk negatively about themselves while others go out of their way to make sure that the people are pleased with them. In either case, a lack of personal worth and value can have a negative impact on life and wellness. Here are some of the signs of the low self-esteem. People who have low self-esteem often feel that they have little control of their lives and what happens to them. This can be due to feeling that they have little ability to create changes in themselves or in the world. Because they have an external locus of control, they feel powerless to do anything to fix their problems. Research have found that in situations where people have little control over what happens, having higher self-esteem can help relieve some of the negative effects of this loss of control which ultimately benefit the mental health. If you have low self-esteem, you may be extra sensitive to criticism, whether from others or yourself. You see it only as reinforcing your flaws and confirming that you are incapable of doing anything right. Negative self-talk. Low self-esteem causes people to focus on their flaws rather than their strengths. Rather than build themselves up with a positive self-talk, they always seem to have something negative to say about themselves, engaging in negative self-talk instead. When things go wrong, people with low self-esteem often blame themselves. They found faults with some aspects of themselves, whether it is their appearance, their personality or other abilities. Declining invitations to go to a party or meet up with friends, cancelling scheduled plans last minute and generally not wanting to be around others are signs of low self-esteem. You may not have any desire to hold a conversation or talk about your life because it will only reinforce the depression and anxiety you are already experiencing. For someone with low self-esteem, lashing out or becoming aggressive toward other is a defense mechanism. If you feel that you are about to be exposed or criticized, attacked, whoever might criticize you can be a sign of low self-esteem. People with low self-confidence tends to have low self-esteem and vice versa. Low self-esteem can play a role in causing a lack of confidence, but poor confidence can also contribute to or worsen the poor self-esteem. Being confident in yourself and your abilities allow you to know that you can rely on yourself to manage different situations. This self-trust means that you feel comfortable and confident navigating many different things you might encounter in life which can play an important role in your overall well-being. When a person has low self-esteem, they may struggle to ask for what they need. Trouble asking for what you need can be caused by feeling embarrassed. Or you may feel that a need for assistance and support is a sign that you are incompetent. Because their self-regard is low, someone with low self-esteem might also feel that they don't deserve help. They don't think about their own desires, so they struggle to assert themselves when they are in need. A 2017 study published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology found that low self-esteem is directly correlated to not being able to accept or capitalize on compliments from others. Positive feedback is often met with suspicion and distrust. Complimentary words do not align with their beliefs about themselves, so people with self-esteem issues may feel that the other person is being rude or cruel. A person with low self-esteem lack confidence in their abilities, so people with low self-esteem doubt their abilities to achieve success because they fear failure and they tend to either avoid challenges or give up quickly without really trying. This fear of failure can be seen in behaviors such as acting out when things go wrong or looking for ways to hide feelings of inadequacy. People with low self-esteem might also make excuses, blame external factors or try to downplay the importance of the task. The ability to set boundaries is often established early in life. Children with caretakers who show them that they are respected and valued are better able to create good boundaries in adult relationships. They are also more likely to have a more positive view of themselves in general. People with low self-esteem can have a difficult time setting boundaries with others. They may feel guilty or fear that people will stop liking them if they try to establish or maintain a boundary. 
People pleasing is another common symptom of low self-esteem. In order to gain external validation, people who don't feel good about themselves may also go above and beyond to make sure that the other are comfortable and happy. Pleasing other often involve neglecting their own needs. The person with low self-esteem winds up saying yes to things they may not want to do and feeling guilty about saying no. Low self-esteem and low worth can cause people to feel that there is little chance that the future will be any better than the present. These feelings of hopelessness can make it hard for people with low self-esteem to engage in behaviors that will bring about positive changes in their lives. Self-punishment is a common way of coping with such feeling. By finding obstacles to prevent success, people with low self-esteem are able to find something else to blame for not achieving their goals or finding greater levels of happiness in their lives. Even after making a decision, people who have low self-worth often worry that they have made the wrong choice. They doubt their own opinions and may defer to what others think instead of sticking to their choices. They are excessively preoccupied with their own personal problems. Consistently worrying about your own problem issues take up a lot of time for someone with a low self-esteem. You may struggle to help or empathize with someone else's problem because you are too preoccupied with your own personal problems. Social comparison can sometimes serve as a positive function and enhance a person's sense of self. But comparing yourself to others can also damage self-esteem. People with low self-esteem may be more likely to engage in what is known as upward social comparison or comparing themselves to people who they think are better than themselves. Upward social comparison isn't always bad. For instance, their comparisons can be a source of information and inspiration for improvement. When people are left with feeling of inadequacy or hopelessness, however, it can be inhabit self-esteem. Social media also play a role in such comparison, contributing to low self-esteem. If you often compare yourself unfavorably to people on social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, your self-esteem may take a hit. Researchers has found out that there are so many physical symptoms of the low self-esteem like anxiety, depression, eating disorder, panic disorder, emotional distress, internal addiction, risky behavior, suicidal thoughts, social anxiety disorder, phobias, substance abuse and use 